G'day scrappers. Well, what a pickup I've done today. Holy guacamole. It's uh, Cisco City here and um, man they said they had, they had a few Cisco switches but I didn't expect anything like this. Um, they were just getting bigger and bigger <laughs> uh, every time they were bringing them out like these ones here. There's quite a lot of these and uh, they're the Cisco 4500s, uh, nice little short stocky ones. Um, yeah, they're all right. And then got these Catalyst 6500Es, right, which are really nice and big. And then these huge Catalyst uh, 9500s, so the MDS 9500. Wow. So. Yeah, awesome, some beautiful Cisco servers down there. Um, oh, just, just absolutely amazing pickup this. So I thought I'd share a little bit with you. Uh, I've got to take this out because I've got to go and pick up another load tomorrow morning. Uh, just obviously just not enough room in the van and, uh, um, and I tell you what, pretty, uh, pretty overloaded. The only way I could get one of these big ones in um, was to put it, you know, last in the back because it was just too heavy to tip in. Uh, I had to use a forklift to sort of get it up and then slide it off the forklift into the back of the van and tip it in. Uh, but yeah, I know there's, I saw another two of these for tomorrow's pickup. And, you know, gosh, they're, they're, they're almost two foot tall and two and a half foot long but yeah I remember when I was first started picking up e-waste and I was starting to get switches and they were just the flat switches and I think you know started to say oh this one's a big one you know and then I started to get some bigger Cisco stuff and I oh, look at this this is huge <laughs> and it seems like every time I go out and pick up Cisco switches they're just getting bigger and bigger I mean that's about as big as I've I've ever gotten I think um, and uh, you know, I'm thinking probably the next time I'm sent out to go and pick up switches, uh, Cisco switches, I'm going to need a truck with a crane <laughs> to get them on. I mean, that is so heavy. It's, it's even too heavy for two people to pick up. So I'm just going to have to kind of tip it out of the van and stack them up. And uh, I've really got no room at the moment, so I'm just going to have to put them here, kind of under the eaves, and uh, I'm just going to put a tarp over them just so because uh, tomorrow it will rain so um, but anyway I'm going to take all this out and I'll give you a little bit of a look on um, what I actually picked up today I also got PCs at the front and stuff um, I just sort of started loading as it was coming to me and uh, it just got bigger and bigger <laughs> crazy holy dooly well uh, almost there I think uh, I'll just leave the rest till tomorrow um, before I go, first thing in the morning. Um, mostly just, uh, yeah, there's still some servers there and uh, some more servers down the bottom and PCs. Um, I had the front seat loaded as well, I took everything out of that. Got some really nice brand new Cisco parts there, really awesome. Um, this thing here, this is a what is it? My Music Australian Monitor. Uh, it's a tuner. There. Might see if I can uh, pass this on to someone. But yeah, quite a heavy and amazing load. Uh, really awesome. A uh, bit of a funny story to this. And this is the wall of. Uh, uh, switches and and whatnot three servers these ones are actually Cisco Nexus servers uh, really nice I'm gonna scrap one of them out on video that giant one down the bottom two two more of them at least tomorrow don't know what else is there but uh, there's another pallet somewhere so I've got to go and uh, pick all that up uh, a lot of power supplies uh, from these kind of systems um, but obviously uh, a lot of spares they most likely are, are used and damaged ones that they've replaced over time 
um, stacks of power supplies, uh, different types, some big ones down there. Uh, these kind are still heaps in the van. Yeah, a lot of these boxy, um, the 4503s, the, and these ones are pretty old, the 4006. But goodness me, how's that for a wall of um, e waste from one pickup? Uh, and there's also other PCs, these kind of things. This one here actually is kind of like a server box. It's uh, really nice. It's got a really nice switch on it here. Uh, I like this one. Um, it'll be a shame to scrap this one out. Nice handles, a really nice door. Uh, maybe someone will use that. And just a few PCs on top and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it's mostly this server stuff. Like all this row here. Uh, wow, these are gonna be quite amazing. Another four, 4006, 4503s, uh, 4506, and uh, big one here, and there, that giant one, a nice small late model one there, a little one there. That's one of the boards out of uh, this giant one. Uh, yeah, yeah, the funny story is, uh, uh, they, when they called me early on today, it was only a few hours ago, and they said, uh, you know, oh look here, we just spoke to a, another recycler and they gave us your number. And I said, okay, so that was strange. Um, I don't think I've ever dealt with uh, this other recycler. And um, so beautiful, uh, really appreciate that a, another recycler would pass on my name. And the only reason why they probably wouldn't have picked it up was because they're just too busy at the t moment. And these guys needed this taken away straight away. Um, like today, um, this week, and uh, I, I, I'm guessing the other recycler couldn't do it till next week. And then uh, another friend of mine, another recycler, I mentioned these um, just now to him, and he said, oh yeah, I know the pl that, that place, and he said, yeah, how do you know? He said, yeah, they called me too, but I couldn't do it till next week as well. So it just pays to be quiet sometimes and uh, um, willing to just uh, jump jump in the van and go and go and do the job you know some people are in a real hurry uh, I've often gotten calls like that uh, there was one recently just uh, in the city uh, a company wanted me to come and pick up lead acid batteries a whole big pile but they needed it done that day within the next hour and I said sorry I've just come back from a pickup uh, I'm loaded I there's no way I could unload and get there f at the, today so uh, I had to pass the job up and there probably wouldn't have been anyone um, in such short notice that can do that, you know. Um, but, you know, still, uh, a, a lot of these are probably a little bit older, you know, sort of no resale value or anything. But, uh, yeah, well, you know, uh, some of them uh, might turn out to be really good. Um, just looking forward to doing all the scrapping of them. So, uh, yeah, I'll just, I think I will f finish off unloading the van. And tomorrow uh, I'll go and finish off the job, hopefully. They find a lot more. They said there's at least one more pallet plus the two giant things like that. Um, so uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get another full load and uh, yeah, so uh, stay tuned until uh, tomorrow and we'll check out the next load. Well, I'm back guys and uh, well, uh, this is the second pickup and once again, uh, I got three more of the, the reasonably big Cisco ones. Uh, they're about three foot tall. It's not. I thought they were the the biggest ones, but they're the yeah the medium big ones. <laughs> uh, a couple more small ones, and um, a whole lot of boxes. Uh, there was a, a bonus pallet that I had to pick up, and um, wow, I can't believe this is like a super Cisco pickup. This one uh, um, out of this world. <laughs> Talk about. Cisco's getting bigger and bigger every time I seem to go out and pick them up. Uh, these circuit boards here are um, amazing. This is just one circuit board. Look at the size of that box. And they're uh, new in box. I'm just going to pull them out and uh, stack them up on the table and just have a look at uh, what these look like. And uh, yeah, empty out the rest of the bin and add to my um, pile of uh, Cisco stuff. So... Um, yeah, the, uh, 
the three Cisco's in the, they might be like that, but they could be a little bit different again. But I thought they were going to be one of these really giant ones, but uh, not the case. So, uh, but still, what an awesome uh, uh, pickup job uh, for me anyway, being a smaller time recycler. Uh, some of the bigger guys, they get this stuff every day. And uh, so, uh, but for me, uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, the more of this stuff that comes in, the better. All right, I'll get this out. So here's the uh, three that I picked up from the second pickup. Um, well, these are the three bigger ones. The other two I've left out with the other stack. But yeah, they're very intense. They're the uh, uh, Cisco 6500 and there's a, a 9500, a couple of 9500s as well. So um, still probably a little bit old, but... Uh, Wow, this is uh, quite an amazing <laughs> pickup. Um, these, all these Cisco boards in box here uh, are just incredible, just incredible. Um, there's a few there. I haven't gone through all the part model numbers. There's two different ones, and um, there's 18 of these super big ones. There's all different kinds, got a lot of really nice little Cisco boards in there that I'm yet to look up um, more there so all these ones I've got to go through uh, these are obviously new kind of things uh, who knows what they really are and uh, yeah each one comes with a little um, you know anti-static wrist bracelet that's handy, um, but well, uh, this is like we're talking about a million dollars worth of Cisco stuff here, including all the the servers um, out the front. I mean, these things here they're they're super expensive, guys. Also, got a whole heap of different cards that have been, you know, that ready packaged for uh, um, selling as refurbished items. They're all got part numbers on the other side. Uh, so even these, they're, they're not super expensive, but they're all kind of things that sell for between 30 and 50, $60 each. And there's stacks of them. But I wanna show you these before I end this video and get on to uh, working out what on earth I'm going to do with these because, oh my gosh. Um, okay, so here's what we, we're looking for. This one here, the CRS FP140 with a little equals. Look that up. <laughs> You're not gonna believe the price on this circuit board in here. And even the way they uh, um, package them is unbelievable. But this particular one, there's I've seen at least two of them. I'll tell you now, these are listed at one hundred and forty thousand dollars US. One hundred and forty thousand dollars just for one board, and it's it's got a kind of like a shield over the top. Um, what? on earth am I going to do with this? They've got RAM slots in there, mega RAM slots. Um, this is just absolutely insane. And the other thing I wanted to show you, which is really funny, maybe I'll show you on another one, because if I've only got two of these, these are the super expensive ones. $140,000 just for that right but they're mounted on a board i want to show you a board on one of the other ones that i've got a lot of right i'd love to lift this top off and see what's underneath but i don't want to touch it so this is super cisco i've never seen anything like it so let me just carefully put this away somewhere up here maybe for now 
All right. So this is the ones that I've seen quite a lot of. The CRS 16-FC140S. These are listed for um, not as much. They're only about $35,000 each. And look how many I've got. But I'm hoping that I've got more of uh, these ones. They're gonna be awesome. But I've got so many of these. I want to show you one. So here's the really funny thing. If I can just uh, they're mounted for packaging purposes on a thick um, three-quarter inch plywood board. Right? How's that? So they're just, <laughs> they're actually screwed on to this board, so it obviously doesn't get damaged, um, whatnot. But, I mean, even these aluminium brackets here are again for side protection, so the corners, you know, the sides don't get damaged, and it's just for, purely for packing purposes, and they're the boards there. So that, my friends, is a $40,000 board. And um, I don't know what's under these heat sinks, but it doesn't look like there's much there. You know, it's basically a, almost a blank board. Um, I don't get it. So, but obviously with that price comes servicing agreements, and, and uh, warranties and all that kind of thing um, on their own I seriously doubt they'd be worth anywhere near that and the chances of someone wanting to replace a board like this because I'm pretty sure they're all uh, you know got slight variations depending on what they were used for and I'm pretty sure it looks like that um, these were sold by a one of the large telco companies at auction as a big lot and um, the guys that I picked it up off they bought a, these from auctions hoping that they could use this for their system and it turns out they couldn't so um, they would have obviously spent quite a lot on them as well but nowhere near the price that they would have been like nowhere near forty thousand dollars a board i can assure you that um it would have been really cheap but still they did spend quite a lot of money they said and uh so overall they spent a packet but obviously that comes without any kind of warranty any kind of service and and that was their downfall in the end when they probably got a technician to come and uh, have a look at it and the technician would have said straight up look you, you know you're not going to get upgrades for this um, and, and yeah every system is configured slightly differently um, just even boards like this but uh, I think these would have been thrown into the auction lot as uh, just an added extra but they would have probably been returns or something but and this one, these ones are the heaviest of them all, obviously. But I just, uh, yeah, I just can't get over just one board uh, worth one hundred and forty thousand um, dollars. You know, in some states in the U.S., you can buy a house for one hundred and forty thousand dollars U.S. and probably get yourself a nice little truck. Um, to put in the garage as well <laughs> so it's just amazing and, and uh, isn't it amazing that uh, you know I offer a free e-waste pickup and I get this for free um, and but I'm just a small e-waste guy there's a lot of guys like there were there were apparently th uh, the company that called me called two other places so I was number three in the list you know, so, and that's probably the case with uh, most of the um, 
e-waste out there. I'm even number three, four, five, six, or number 10 on the list. So, you know, probably because I don't advertise as much and I don't have a really sophisticated website, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I've just been happy with what I've been doing. It, uh, there you go, guys. Uh, million dollar Cisco pickup there. It's just uh, insane. Um, I've just emptied the van because I've got to go and do another pickup tomorrow, which is a pretty big job as well. So, uh, be looking forward to scrapping out this real big one. And obviously, when I say I scrap them out, I'll still look at the boards and see if there's any kind of resale value. Here's one board that came out of one of them. Um, yeah, as you can see, uh, not sure what's under the heat sinks, but overall, it, nothing uh, spectacular gold recovery wise. So obviously if we can, you know, resell, that would be the best thing. But how many did I get in the end? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24 main um, server systems ranging from the small boxy 4503s to the slightly bigger ones, 4506s, uh, the four of them that I've got and this huge massive one which will be awesome to do on uh, video the only thing is um, I'm not going to be able to lift it anywhere I'm going to have to just scrap it out on the ground these nexuses uh, all these power supplies which I really can't do much with um, I just don't have storage to sit in there and try and uh, sell them singly uh, all these things yeah so super pickup uh, retail, um, million dollars, easy, super easy. So uh, if you just got this board here alone, $140,000 and there's at least one more. I haven't looked at them all. There's probably a few of them. And then the other boxes, well, they're all uh, $40,000 boards and um, yeah, and then the obviously the servers themselves, probably, uh, you know, geez, if there's, uh, you know, well, them boards don't fit into this kind of server. Them boards are huge. So um, so these ones, complete, might have been $50,000 each. Uh, look, I, I just don't know what to really make of e-waste and just uh, the amount of money that companies need to pay for for to, to be up to date and um you know obviously this would have been a big company with a required a big network thing like these are super sized boards uh never seen anything like them uh it's just amazes me and like i said i keep reiterating that i am as small of an e-waste recycler as you can get just in this state in this country <laughs> um there are so many recyclers much bigger than me and then there are giant recyclers and can you imagine like i know one recycler that i sell my boards to um the amount of product that i see that they get it's just insane absolutely insane you know when a company like that are processing like um five to fifteen ton of just keyboards in a few months <laughs> Um, you know the the amount of high-end server equipment and all, it's just amazing how much is gets uh, thrown out admittedly a lot of this stuff does get bought by larger e-waste recyclers so they they pay based on the recovery rates and all that kind of thing and a lot of this stuff can't really get um, resold by the big guys because um, you know, they're under their own obligations to uh, destroy this product and not put it back on the market to protect the uh, manufacturer's, um, you know, 
products, you know, even, you know, like if they're putting old stuff on back onto the market, then there's a chance that um, someone will buy that stuff and then they're not going to buy the new stuff from the, the manufacturer. And so the manufacturer wants their stuff completely destroyed in order to, um, you know, make the, the, the clients, the uh, people that need this stuff, buy the brand new stuff. But as I said, $140,000 for this baby and um, but that comes with everything that you would expect from a service agreement so anyway guys uh, enough of me rambling on it was just a little pickup but it turned out to be uh, for my level quite amazing million dollar super Cisco pickup keep scrapping guys have fun go out there advertise try and get your own e-waste and sometimes you score some good ones uh, a lot of times you know it's hard work you know you you go into the city you're trying to find car parking you end up with three or four pcs and uh, um, five printers 20 monitors keyboards and a lot of junk so um, you know it's hard work you got you you really um, get into good with the bad but you know a lot of times you're just covering your costs by going and picking up a few PCs and a, a mixture of stuff but sometimes you can uh, really do amazingly and uh, you know it could be something like this or it could be I mean scrap value is not that much a few hundred dollars in boards and uh, oh well with the servers yeah still might be seven or eight hundred dollars worth of uh, um, circuit boards uh, because uh, we're talking about quite a lot of weight it could be more could be closer to two thousand dollars just in scrap but uh, you know when you've got a, a board a couple of them at least that are worth hundred and forty thousand dollars and even if they sold for a thousand dollars well you know amazing anyway guys got to go until next time Keep scrapping, have fun, and I'll catch you soon.